Adventures and welcome to another video. So, we are going to get the quick update. There's Romeo. He's so fabulous. There's Juliet. Also doing fabulous. Let's get real close on her. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, and that is the pumpkin over there. We got the pumpkin to stay on its side of the the garden box so we've got a lot of updates some sad news and some good news so we're gonna drop here off of the sidewalk onto the grass there you go okay so the heat has been taking its toll my potato plant is gone. I try to give it every opportunity, but it's just gone. And it looks like the same thing with the carrots. I may have to replant them. Anyway, get you over here. Ooh. So. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. You're looking at my siding. Yay. Yay for siding. Okay, let me unhinge you. We're going to try this method. Okay. So, there's the carrots. It, it's gone. Now, the heat also killed some of my okra plants. So, I have two, four, six okra plants left. That's why you overplant. Now, it turns out Tommy Homestead was also having issues with her plants succumbing to the heat. And what she did was she put extra dirt in, the, in her canisters. So I put extra dirt in my bales and I fed them. I'm hoping it brings them back. Now, over there, uh, there's only one tomato plant left. The heat has taken the other two pretty much. But I'm hoping the extra dirt and extra feeding will help him or her to be where the sex he wants to be. So let's go ahead and turn the walker. Then I'll mount you back on there. Excuse me. We're going to go ahead and tighten this again. Hang on. I like this little mount for my walker because it does so much. So let's go ahead and look at some good news. Okay. Alright. We're going to see the giant tomatoes. Yes, and I have plenty of flowers there. I already checked them. Alrighty. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I got some good progress to show you guys. Hang on. Let me unhinge you. I'm gonna unhinge you. Oopsie. Come on. Alrighty. So. There are the gigantic tomato plants. See? They're growing real good now. And there are the eggplants. One, two, and three. They're having a late start. But again, I think the heat is really taking a toll on them. And there are the beans. So this box is flourishing. Let me see if we can't find a tomato in here. Nope. Oh, let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay, hang on. Can we... No, no tomatoes yet, but it looks like we got flowers. Yes. I hope you could have seen that as I was rummaging around. <laughs> Do we have any? No. Okay, so before I get too tired, let's mount you back on the 
on here. Hold on. It's going to be a little bit longer. I'm trying to show you guys everything. Okay. So here we are to the next spot from trying on Hindu. Oh, oh, there. Okay, so these are cucumbers. I can only assume that the bunnies dug up the last seeds. So this is a way to keep the ground moist in this incredibly hot weather and to protect it from the bunnies. I had up there a Brussels sprout plant, but it got either eaten or the heat got to it. And that one over there, let's see if we can get you an up close. There's one that's doing pretty okay. Now these two bottles over there, I'm going to try and grow two more Brussels sprout plants. Try as a keyword. I don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to make it, or what, but we're going to try. Now, over here, those are my cantaloupes. I put a grid, I put some grids in there to help keep the pumpkin vine on its own side, so it doesn't take too much from the cantaloupes. Okay, let me get by this pumpkin line. I'm caught in a rut. Hang on. Whew. Alrighty. Okay, so let me get you out of here. Oh, wrong way. Hang on. Hang on guys, I'm right here. Okay. So, there are the cantaloupe. You could tell the cantaloupe plant from the pumpkin very distinctly. The heat is so much that my pumpkin is wilting. And yes, it comes all the way down there. For the person that is growing pumpkin for the very first time, I must let you know that they are extremely aggressive and you've got to put grids. Let me show you. Uh, can you see those? Literally, there's metal grids in there. And I made like a, a wall. <laughs> no puns intended. But that's the only way I could keep the pumpkin on their own side. But yeah, that's them. Now, let's go and see how my Roma is doing. And I think, as you can tell by the picture that I took last week, that we have missed a pair. Hold on, caught in another rut. <laughs> caught in a trap. <laughs> Let me make it up to the sidewalk. Hang on, guys. We get right there. Ooh. So, okay, it's looking like the Roma tomatoes are doing a little bit better. My God, I don't think you could kill them things. Let me get to that chair right there because this is where I normally poop out. Rest station. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I see they got a pool too across the way. <laughs> okay. So, I'm sitting down. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Okay. All right, I can see it from here. Okay, hang on, guys. Hang on. I'm getting you off the mount again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
wrong, wrong way. Sorry, guys. It's this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to try and get her into focus. But right there, can you see it? Can you see it right there? Let me get my finger in the lens. Excuse me. Whoopsie. Hold on. Okay. But right in there. <laughs> you can see that. Can I get any closer? Yes. Okay. So in that giant tree, in the giant chair, in the giant chair, in the giant tree, and I got to think about how I'm going to get it up right. It's leaning to the right. I got one, one, one fruit. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take, oh, look at that. That's a strong trunk right there, I tell you. So, okay, hang on, guys. Try not to get eaten up by gnats. We got to turn this thing around. Turn it right around. Okay. Whew. Hang on, guys. Sorry about all the jostling. One day I'm going to figure out how I can make these videos without making everybody sick. And there are my Romas. There you go. Still three. Still growing. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. And yeah, they're there. They don't want to give up. So I put extra dirt on them. I fed them a little more. We're going to see if they don't come back better. And other than that, there's the update. Pumpkin's doing awesome. We planted the second one. And up there... That one's on its own. It's doing good. And there are my cherry trees. Doing great. So, I hope that my okras come back. I really don't want to lose any more. Um, I hope my heirloom tomato doesn't go um, bad. Or, you know, I want them to come back. Again, this heat is atrocious. Everyone's droopy, but I can't water it yet. Because if you water during high sun, you're going to kill your plants. And I put too much work into this. I mean, yeah, nature took care of 90% of it. But still, I, I did a lot of work. I mean, it means a lot to me. But anyway, if you notice that the prices in the supermarket is way too high and the produce quality is way too low, Think about maybe growing one or two items of your own. And that way you can make sure that your family has something to eat. And if you have a picky eater, have them grow their own food. They tend to be less picky when they grow their own food. And this is what I learned by experience. So until next time, guys. We're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst. I guarantee you. We're all getting up somewhere in the middle. Till next time. Bye-bye.